I'm Josiah from Blender, and this is Oculus Rift. <laughs> virtual reality is the wet dream of gamers everywhere. For decades, the idea of virtual reality has been confined to the USS Enterprise, but recently it has become a real-world possibility. Kickstarter-funded Oculus VR is leading the way with the Oculus Rift, a low-cost, consumer-oriented virtual reality headset for the masses. The design of the Oculus Rift isn't great. It looks like a small display attached to a pair of goggles. Hard, black plastic covers the front housing with an elastic strap that goes over and around your head. A foam cushion rests between the display and around your eyes. If you've ever worn ski goggles, the Oculus Rift will feel right at home on your head. Weighing in at 13.4 ounces, the headset is a little front heavy, though it's less noticeable once the immersion begins. Weight isn't the only issue. The Rift is tethered to the computer by a series of wires, which can get in the way during gameplay. In addition, there's a bit of light leak around the nose, which can be distracting enough to pull you out of the game. But all of that aside, it works. And that's what matters in this developer version. Included in the box is the Rift, a control box with USB, HDMI, and DVI ports, plus alternate lenses and a power adapter. With any virtual reality headset, the display is going to be one of the most important features. The Rift sports a 7-inch, 720p screen, which comes out to 640 by 800 pixels per eye. In our testing, this was one of the biggest fallbacks of the device. Instead of feeling like you're in a different reality, it feels as though you're looking through a screen door into another reality. Also inside the headset are three sensors, a gyro, an accelerometer, and a magnetometer. These sensors, along with the display, play an important role in making a game feel like reality. But in their current form, there is just too much latency between your movements and when those movements are reflected in-game. This delay, plus poor display resolution, can actually cause something called VR sickness, which is essentially motion sickness. Oculus has promised faster sensors as well as improvements to the screen resolution in future versions. If you wear glasses, you won't need to wear them while using the Rift. Included with the Rift are three sets of lenses that mount in front of the display. These lenses will compensate for poor vision, it's just a matter of finding the right lenses for you. Because the Oculus Rift is still in development, there aren't a whole lot of fully developed games available for it yet. There is a large selection of small, indie tech demos available that show off the capabilities of the Rift quite well. A handful of big name titles have also been made compatible with the Rift, such as Valve produced games like Team Fortress 2 and Half-Life 2. As the Oculus Rift gets closer to a consumer release, we can expect more titles from indie developers and larger game studios. The possible uses of the Rift are endless, from surgical and military training to an immersive movie experience. As the excitement surrounding virtual reality grows, so does the competition. Sony is currently working on its own virtual reality headset for the PS4, codenamed Project Morpheus. Revealed just weeks ago, Sony's take on VR already seems several steps ahead of the Oculus Rift. But that's not to say the Oculus Rift has already lost the game. Oculus just recently announced that they were acquired by Facebook for $2 billion, giving them the necessary funds to finish development on time and go up against a giant like Sony. While there are plenty of reasons to question why Facebook would acquire Oculus, they do have a good track record of not messing with their acquisitions. Still, it's easy to imagine the Oculus Rift quickly becoming a Farmville helmet, or a virtual Facebook. That may be the future, but for now, it's business as usual for the Oculus team. If you're looking at getting the Rift, there's a few things to keep in mind. The Rift is still in development, but an early version of the headset can be purchased now for $250 as part of a developer kit. Developer kit 2 will be available in July, but can be pre-ordered now for $350. There's no question at this point that virtual reality is the future of gaming, and perhaps more, but the Rift isn't ready for reality just yet. If you're an avid gamer, you'll probably enjoy this new perspective into your games, but for the average person, I'd suggest waiting for the final model which is expected to ship in late 2014 or early 2015.